All right, so today we are we're in Vermont at this point. We're heading up. We're in the town of Waterford. We're heading to the town of Carroll, New Hampshire to see an amazing, 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 amazing grand hotel that was built way back in 1900 through 1902. It took two or three years to build it. Um, a pretty significant historic landmark. There are also some other interesting things over there as well. So uh, I wanted to show you the view that we will be seeing the view from afar off. Let me turn this camera around so it's facing forward. This view is absolutely spectacular when you come around this corner, especially when it's uh, late fall, when the leaves are full bloom color and you see the snow-capped white mountains of New Hampshire. It is really, you hear it said all the time, it's breathtaking. Well, it is breathtaking. It also it is foggy and you can't see the mountains very well, but believe me, the view straight ahead of those mountains is where we're headed. We're probably uh, 45 minutes from there. So I'm going to shut the camera off and we are going to enjoy an amazing grand hotel. All right. There's a fox. Might be looking for its mama. Huh. Hope you're okay, buddy. Up ahead is Crawford Notch. That comes up from Conway up to um, basically Carroll or near Mount Washington. There's another train station up here. We'll stop at that one turn around and go back and uh, go to Mount Washington Hotel. I won't be going near the hotel because uh, it's not really allowed, especially with a drone. Super high touristy place here. <laughs> Quite often hard to find a parking spot. So anyway, this was a train station at one time. I've climbed the mountain on the right. It's a fun little hike. It's only about an hour, but you get way up there pretty quick. Entering Crawford Notch State Park. All right, we'll turn around and go back. So this is a national forest. I wanted to talk about the moose Right along through here, one morning, about five in the morning, I was headed home, and moose are just dark. And right, right in here, the moose was running along the white line, right along with me. If he turned, I would have. It would have been a, a bad accident. Fortunately, we made it by. So this stone chapel was actually completed in 1906. It's referred to as the Stickney Chapel. It was built and named after the builder owner of the Mount Washington Hotel, Joseph Stickney. His wife, Carolyn, had built it after he died in 1903. It's believed that some of the Italian stone masons that built the hotel also built this chapel. Currently, the chapel is owned by the Episcopal Diocese of New Hampshire and still holds services there during the summer.
most of those trees were not there when the chapel was built so that it was easily viewed from the hotel. The Mount Washington Hotel was built by Joseph Stickney. Joseph Stickney. <laughs> Construction started in 1900 and was completed in 1902. It's said that when commemorating the hotel's grand opening, he said something like, before you stands the fool that had built this. He died at 19, in 1903 at the age of 64 of a heart attack one year after the hotel was completed. It's also said that about 250 Italian masons did the stonework on the hotel. The hotel was one of the most ornate and elaborate hotels of its day. Stickney had made his fortune in the coal and railroading business in Pennsylvania. It made sense that he would locate the hotel in a prime setting that railroads could glamorously arrive. It would not be uncommon for other famous and rich tycoons to arrive with their own private Pullman-type train cars with lavish accommodations. Some days, apparently, there would be 50 rail cars arriving to enjoy the hotel. There are three different train stations, of which one was the Crawford Notch station, shown earlier. When they opened in July of 1902, a staff of about 350 waited to greet them. The original cost of the hotel was $1.7 million. Today it would probably be close to $100 million based on high building costs. Can you imagine over 2,000 doors in one building, not to mention over 12,000 windows? It's amazing. The resort offers an 18-hole and a 9-hole golf course. It's well worth a trip to check out this amazing historical resort. Mount Washington is located behind it and has some pretty amazing history of its own. Hopefully I can go to that and uh, do a video on that sometime. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.